Hello and welcome to the next episode, the penultimate episode of this season with me, Magoobidge, at Gateshead, season 18. And we're one game away from the title. One game. We're, in this video, you're going to see us take on Watford at home and then Chelsea away. We just need to win. But it's all dependent on what happens right now. Let's just take it to the league table. So the last video you saw is beat Man City. We've now got an eight-point lead over Man City. They've got a game in hand, which they're about to play now. And I've just discovered it's against Chelsea, who are seventh. Chelsea are fighting for European football. They're still in the race for the Champions League, being four points behind Blackburn. Tottenham are there, 67. Liverpool, sixth on 66. So they're fighting for everything. Watford are 14th, and I play them next. So if you have a look at this particular game that's coming up now, Man City need to win against Chelsea. They don't win, then we're champions. So let's have a look. Let's see what's going to happen. Let's play these games. What's the story? What happened? Premier League. Fixes and results. Oh, I haven't played yet. Of course, it's the 12.30 game on the Saturday. Got myself all worked up then. Right, team meeting. About title chances. Went well. Went okay. Tactical. Not bothered about that. Tactical briefing. We'll skip that. Scully, the lone E. He's out for a week. That's okay. Here we go. Man City need a win. If they don't win, we're champions. They've lost. We've won the league. We must have done. We must have done. We've got to be champions. Oh, Man United are still there. Ah, oh, for God's sake. <laughs> All that build-up and I forget about Man U. <laughs> Man United have got 17. Look, they've got 17 goals worse than me. Even if they win their two games, and I don't want another one, they need me to lose both my games. So it's as it is, I need to beat Watford. What a palaver. Yeah, Man United beat Leicester. So yeah, Sheffield United beat Blackburn. See, Blackburn lost again. And that puts Chelsea right up there with a chance of Champions League with a game to go. Mind you, Tottenham's got two games in hand. That's because they're in the Champions League final. So Bournemouth, Burnley, nil-nil. Chelsea beat Man City. Man United beat Leicester. Villa beat Southampton. See, Villa's in the mix. Well, no, they're not really. And Derby and Fulham drew. So those are Saturday games. So I just need to win this game at home. And we're champions. And you'll see me in my blue suit once again. See, we've got so Arsenal play Tottenham. That's a massive game. Yeah, the early kickoff decreased the transfer revenue. has gone down to 40%. Tottenham beat Arsenal. So Tottenham's gone in the box seat. Champions League. they still got a game in hand as well. Okay, so this game, I'm going to play the same team that played Man City. Romero, Cantu, Zure, Popov, Gurai, Ripper, Berger, Parry, Martinez, Lopez and Henningsen. Win this game, we're champions. Before we play Chelsea... Because with the way Chelsea are playing and what they need to try and achieve, that's a dodgy game. I've got faith. I've told them to continue their good run. Here we go. One win and we're champions. First highlight is Watford's. And we bring them down outside the box, that was. That was outside. Good outside. Stupid free kick to give away. Comes to nothing, which is good. Ten minutes gone. Nothing's happening yet. Right, so, calm down. Some of them are nervous, and we're giving away another free kick here. Now they're all uninterested, apart from two, which is ridiculous. So we've got a highlight. Throw him. Cleared away. Rutten is in. Shoots, and Romero makes a great save. We haven't even turned up yet, which is really disappointing. Headed away by Ripper at the near post. Then Martinez steps in. Henningsen, loads of space. Collects the ball. Gets on his bike, down the wing. Challenged. Shout, get creative to the players. Right, they're inspired now. Corner, Cantu takes it. Watford get the ball away. But Berger picks up the loose ball. Comes back out to Cantu. Cross comes in. Henningsen on the volley. Good save. 
Corner. Comes in the box. Headed away. Martinez. Back to Cantu. Tries to cross it. Comes back off of him and goes for a goal. Kick. Disappointing. 35 minutes gone. Well, you've got the ball deep inside our half. And Lopez has done fantastically well. Control the ball. But he gives it away. Rutten's in again. Can't finish. Need to wake up a bit this half. Henningsen 6.5. A point is good enough for the title. But we want more than that. Right. Popov. Mops up. Goes up the line to Martinez. Beats one. Beats two. Into the box. Keeps going. <laughs> Shoots woefully wide. Throwing. Just for half time. Cantu again. Crosses back post. Looking for Martinez. Can't find him. Popov does. He crosses it in. They clear it again. Pressure. Sustained from us. Martinez. Has it down Henningsen. He's at the post. That was unlucky. This is better. Right, assertively say now, been the better team here, keep doing what you're doing. Passionate, you've got the ability to make a real difference. Demand more from the players. Let's keep an eye on some of them. Martinez, 6.5. Henningsen, 6.5. Gurai, 6.5. So three changes. Gutierrez, Martinez. B.E. Gurai. Dimitrovic, Henningsen. Those three are off. Free kick, Berger. Oh, he's at the post and the goalkeeper's managed to survive. Highlight continues. Head's made a run down the line. Stop him. Stop him. How many players is he going past? God, dearie me. Tom Head. What a run that was. I think he's on my shortlist. Look at this. One challenge. Two challenges. Three challenges. Deary me. What a mess. That is disappointing. That is really disappointing. <laughs> Show passion to my players. Right, Popov clears the ball to Cantu. Zureb goes back to the keeper. Come this way. He does. Popov. That's it. BT. Inside to Perry. Perry even. Perry. Gutierrez comes inside. Challenge, but Berger picks up the loose ball. Back post, Gutierrez, and he scores. Tenth goal of the season for him. Inspired substitution, I like to, I like to believe. He lost the ball there, but then moves, moves back out to the wing, look, and no one's with him. Chests it down, takes a touch. Past the keeper, 1-1. One, one. Now let's kick on. Is he off? He's nowhere near offside. Of course he's not. Fullback pushed out, but the centre back was facing the other way. Throwing. BT to take it. Flicked on by Popoff, but he's offside. Right, 15 to go. I want to get creative, cool, but I can't. Rupert. Gutierrez heads it wide. Can't get creative yet. You have to wait 10 minutes for his shouts to expire. Right, we go again. Gutierrez again. Oh, he's done it. He's scored a brilliant goal. What was the goalkeeper doing there? Completely turned the game on its head. BT to parry. Gutierrez halfway. Comes inside. Given the freedom, the midfielder's running away from him. Sent the midfielder. He's got his back to him running away. Moves into the space. Hits it. As the commentary said, a hopeful shot and it's gone in. And we're 2-1 and we're champions. As it stands. Second time in our history to win the Premier League. We've won the Champions League twice. Won the Premier League only once. We've won everything else. But we want to get a period of dominance in the Premier League now. Gutierrez for his hat-trick. Great one too. Saved and it goes off for a corner which comes to nothing. And we are Premier League champions. And there's me in my blue suit. Excellent. Fantastic achievement. The last few seasons in the series, we've missed out on the title with the Premier League by a point or two. It's been really frustrating. 
but we've done it in style. Team talk, passionate. Congratulations, lads. Enjoy your success. That's the title. That is remarkable. So Tottenham beat Arsenal, as we know. We beat Watford and Everton beat Swansea. Clinched the title. Berger was outstanding in the game. One year ahead of schedule. Win silverware. Five years ahead of schedule. The board have revealed they're very happy. Excellent. So we've won it twice in the last five seasons. So we've got to play the next game of the, well, the last game of the season, which is Chelsea. That'll be this video. And then tomorrow's video is the FA Cup final, where we look to get the double for the first time, where we take on Liverpool in the final, I think it is. Is it Liverpool? I'm sure it's Liverpool. Yeah, Liverpool in the FA Cup final. So let's have a look at the Premier League table as it stands. So there's a whole host of teams that got to play games. Liverpool got two games in hand. They're seventh. They win both of those. They go 72 and they're in the Champions League spot. Everybody else, more or less, apart from Blackburn and Chelsea, have got a game in hand, which will be played over this the weekend or midweek. So I'm going to move forward to the Premier League games midweek to see what happens. And then it'll be Chelsea. So here's one of Liverpool's games in hand on the Monday. Liverpool beat Newcastle, so they close the gap to the Champions League. They're on, they're literally 69 points. Look how tight that is. Chelsea 68 in seventh. Blackburn, Liverpool, sixth and fifth, 69. Tottenham fourth on 70. Man City third, 73. So there's three teams battling for Champions League and Europa League. Four teams even, if you think Europa League. Let's keep moving forward this week to the midweek fixtures. Man City's game in hand is against Bournemouth away on the Tuesday and they won. So they're in the box seat. They're second. So here's Tottenham v Leicester. This is Tottenham's game in hand on the Wednesday. And they drew. They dropped points. Liverpool's got a chance to jump ahead of Tottenham. Their game in hand must be Thursday, which is today. It is. It's Man United. Look at that. Man United lost 4-0. Wow. Wow. They had a chance to go second. They'd blown it. So Liverpool are fourth. With one game to go, Liverpool are in the box seat. Tottenham can still nick a Champions League. If Tottenham and Liverpool lose, I mean, Blackburn's goal difference is shocking. So the Europa League fight is between Chelsea, Blackburn, and at the moment, Tottenham. Well, Villa, unfortunately, are out of it. And it's between Man City and Man U, who finishes second. Liverpool's got an outside chance. So let's play the last game of the season, which is Chelsea away. So this is the last day of the season, and there's so much on these games. Look at this. Blackburn in sixth, fighting for Europe, are playing Man City in second. Burnley, Sheffield United, Chelsea in seventh, are fighting for Europa League, are playing me. Everton, Man United, that's a good game for United, with Everton being an 18th. Fulham take on Swansea. Leicester, Liverpool. That's a hard game for Liverpool. Newcastle, Bournemouth. Southampton, Arsenal. Tottenham in fifth are playing Villa in eighth. And Watford play on Derby. Let's just go out and do our job. Do I make changes and play people? Because I've got the cup final coming up where I'm going to play my strongest team. I'm going to make changes in this game. So I've already won the title. The Isayel comes in for Zureb. O'Reardon comes in for Romero. Howard comes in and plays next to Isayel. BT comes in for Gurai. Cyrus comes in for Cantu, so completely change back five. Keita can start for Ripper. I actually thought Keita would be the number one, but Ripper has been brilliant. So midfield, Mawira comes in for Parry. Gonzalo will come on for Berger and Gutierrez, so completely change midfield. And then up front, Dimitrovic comes in for Henningsen. And my youngster Appleby's injured, so I'm going to leave... Lopez in the team because he had a period where he's out injured. So that's good. Parry's rested, Popoff's rested, Cantu's rested. But that's the team. Gonzalo's lacking fitness, but that's fine. It's the last game. They're playing 4 2 3 1. Dressing room, team talk, calm. Good one lately. And then calm, I've got faith. So here we go. This is Chelsea away. Last game of the season. Encourage the players. Keep an eye on the table. To see what happens elsewhere. 15 minutes gone and we've got a highlight. BT to take the throw. 
towards Howard. Comes back out to him. Crosses it in. Headed in by Gutierrez. Gutierrez on the left-hand side, cutting in, has put us 1-0 up. The reserve team's winning. Great cross from BT. He gets the ball back. Howard made himself a bit of a nuisance. BT crosses it in. And Gutierrez, look at that, steps off the defender. Headed back where it came from. And it's 1-0 up. That takes Chelsea seventh out of Europe. Which pains me in real life because obviously I'm a Chelsea fan. Lifelong, born and bred from the area. Not a glory boy. Lopez this time shoots over. I think it's got to the stage in this particular series now that if Chelsea offered me the job, I'd take it. It's been 18 seasons, I've won everything. The only thing I want to do is try and win a Premier League and Champions League double. That's what I want to do, and that's then me finish for the for Football Manager 2020 as we look forward to the new game coming out, November. Cater steps inside and scores a great goal. The reserve team are stating their, their claim for a start in the, in the FA Cup final, which is all you can ask for as a manager. Gutierrez again. Brilliant. He's been playing so well. He might have to get the start rather than Martinez in the FA Cup final. Remember, the double's still alive. We're two up. Chelsea's European quest is, is taking a hammer in here. As it stands, Tottenham go above Liverpool into the Champions League. Liverpool drop to Europa League. Blackburn, after their great season, look as though they're going to nick themselves a Europa League place. BT. 26 minutes gone. Howard, good ball to Isael. Plays it back wide to that man, Gutierrez again. BT. Howard. Gutierrez has got some space. Comes inside again. Looks for Cater, but can't find him. Chelsea have got a chance to build. Tumor's in. To be fair, that's a good goal. Good ball over the top. He took it on his chest, and his first touch took it away from the keeper, who was coming out to challenge him. Watch this. He just goes past O'Reard and look. Chest sit, first touch, look, keeper's nowhere. Good finish. 2-1. As usual, when you concede, show passion. Corner, BT takes it. Chelsea get it away. But Dimitrovic picks the ball up. Loses it. Toma on the counter again. Saved easily. Near post by O'Reardon. Tottenham still in the box seat for the Champions League by the looks of it. As Chelsea come forward, we break it down. Mawira plays the ball up, looking for Lopez. And Mawira's forced into a save. Chelsea's come right back into this. We were two up and cruising. Oh, wait, head it over. 40 minutes gone. Let's get to half time, regroup, go again. Jurgen Klopp's the Chelsea manager by the way, and he's been talking highly of me. Passionate. You weren't that bad. You can still improve. I've got faith. So I'm going to ask him to get a bit creative this half. BT. Squeaky chair. That's not that fit. If you do hear any noises, it's my chair. I need to oil it. Tom is in. We've made a right muck up of that. They've, they've wasted the opportunity, Chelsea. We're forcing them backwards. Good defending after initially they got him behind us. Win it back. Dimitrovic, first chance to run and shoot, and he flies woefully over the bar. Gonzalo, 6.5. Lopez, the two forwards are not playing great. Let's give him some time to come into the game and improve. Let's demand more. So... Look at this. Man United are now second. The live table. They've gone above Man City. Great goal. Dimitrovic, but someone's offside. What a good finish that was. Left foot into the corner. Takes it. Yeah, Isayel's in front of the goalkeeper. Look. Offside, two of them. Still 2-1. 20 minutes to go. Man United's up to second. Man City's third. Tottenham's fourth. As it stands, Liverpool... Fifth, Blackburn sixth. Chelsea's got a throw. 
Gonzalo gets it away. Lopez. Keita. Loads of space to run into. Into the box. Towards the keeper. Poor finish. Right, Chelsea for Great challenge, Moira. Dimitrovic. What can he do? Finds Howard. What a ball. Lopez. Keeper saves it. Got an eye on, I've got my eye on that goalkeeper. He's world class. But it'll cost a fortune. And as you've seen with my signings, the likes of Keita. I picked Keita up from Liverpool. They've scored. Is he off? No, they've scored. Deriu has scored to make it 2 2. As I was saying, Keita I picked up for 11 million from Liverpool. Cross the ball in. What happens? Oh, he's hit the post and then the keeper can't get there and Deriu follows up. 2 2. Again, show passion. I don't want to make any changes. I want to keep my players fresh for the FA Cup final. But this guy's got a shout. But he does that now and again. Just runs with the ball and just loses it. Chelsea score. Great save, O'Reardon. That was a European hopes went up in smoke there. Mind you, based on the results that are being played out at the minute, even with two points extra, they're not going to qualify. So we finished with a 2-2 draw. I'm not too fussed about that. And over to the assistant on that one. So we've won the Premier League. Outstanding performance. And look at that, those results. Blackburn 2, Man City 3. 90th minute and 93rd minute goals forced them into second place. Sheffield United beat Burnley. We drew 2-2. Man United beat Everton but can only finish third. Fulham 1, Swansea 1. Leicester 1, Liverpool 0. So Liverpool miss out on Champions League, go to Europa League. Newcastle 1, Bournemouth 1. Southampton 1, Arsenal 1. Tottenham 1, Villa 0. Tottenham clinch 4th place and the Champions League. And Watford 3, Derby 0. But it looks as though here, that at the moment, there's three Europa League positions. So Liverpool, Chelsea and Blackburn are all in Europa League. Assistant can do the press conference. Keita did well. So we won £45 million for winning the Premier League. And there's plenty of medals gone round to the players. They were paid out £12 million. So we made a profit of £32 million which my bank balance now looks like this. 29 million in the bank, which is good. So we're going to move forward and play the FA Cup final in the next video and the end of season awards. If you've enjoyed the video, then smash that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel, but make sure you hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss when my videos come out, which is every day, 6pm. Have a good day. See you tomorrow.